Hey Bees, I'm Marie from Hubble Bee and Me and today we're making this gorgeous lemon and rose facial lotion. Uh, this is something I devised as part of my Formula Botanica coursework. I'm currently doing their Diploma in Organic Skincare Formulation course. And so yeah, this is part of the facial emulsions module and it's just gorgeous and I'm so excited to share it with you. When it comes to keeping my skin happy, especially in the winter, hydration is absolutely essential. And so this lotion really focuses very, very heavily on hydration. And this actually is the first recipe I'm sharing that uses hyaluronic acid. And so I recently did a blog video pair on hyaluronic acid, including how to create the 1% stock that we're going to be using in this recipe. So if you see that ingredient, you're kind of going, oh, how do I do that? Um, I have recently made a video and wrote a blog on it. So I will link to that in the description box below, but you can learn how to do that there. The oil phase for this lotion is pretty simple. It's just a blend of argan oil, which my face loves, and olive M1000, which is our emulsifying wax. And so this is a sort of more natural emulsifying wax that uh, Formula Botanica is using in their coursework. And it's something I hadn't worked with a whole lot. I, I had worked with it, but now that I'm working through the coursework, I'm using a whole lot more of olive M1000. And it makes for really, really luscious, creamy but lightweight like the sort of texture where you're like oh i bet that's gonna be really rich and heavy and then you go in and you're like oh it's actually like just gorgeous and mm. yeah it's uh, it's a really really nice emulsifier and i think it really shines in this lotion in addition to the hyaluronic acid, we've got lots of other great water-soluble goodies for our skin. Things like sodium lactate, which is also a fantastic humectant, and panthenol, also known as vitamin B5, which is soothing and really lovely for the skin. For a scent blend, we've got some rose hydrosol, and then I sort of complemented that with a touch of lemon and cardamom essential oil. So as another learning in my Formula Botanica course, lemon essential oil isn't photosensitizing if used below 2%. So we're using significantly less of that. And I find that the bright, sweet sort of tartness of lemon plays gorgeously with the rich sweetness of the flowers of the of the rose. And then the cardamom brings in this really lovely exotic spice note. And it's just it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent blend. As always, if you want to learn more about this recipe or really any recipe that I do here on YouTube, your first stop should be the accompanying blog post. So that's always linked in the description box below the video, or you can just go to humblebeeandme.com and search for the name of the recipe or the video that you're watching and it'll pop right up. And you'll probably find all of your answers there. I'm always really diligent about providing information on where you can purchase your ingredients and substitutions that I'm pretty sure people will ask about. And then for this particular recipe, there's actually quite an extended discussion of whether or not hyaluronic acid should go in the heated water phase or the cool down phase with some interesting discussion based around a scientific study that I found on how it behaves in different temperatures uh, over different periods of time. So yeah, interesting and I think highly worth a read. So yeah, be sure to click through because it's a great supplementary piece of content uh, for the videos. But yeah, let's go make this gorgeous lotion. I hope you love it as much as I do. We'll begin by measuring our water phase ingredients into a small beaker. So in this beaker, I've already got 15.9 grams of distilled water. And to that, I'm going to add 10 grams of a 1% hyaluronic acid stock and if you want to learn how to make this I've got a video and a blog post on that so I'll link that in the description box below And in this speaker, we have 10 grams of rose hydrosol. So I'm just gonna kind of add that to here. So you can make sure to get any last bits of that hyaluronic acid out of there. Got one gram of panthenol or vitamin B5. Half a gram of hydrolyzed silk. And then we're gonna weigh in our humectants. So you need one gram of vegetable glycerin and half a gram of sodium lactate. Now to finish this off, we're gonna weigh this beaker with all of our water phase ingredients in it. And we're going to note that weight. Now we're going to combine our oil phase ingredients in a small beaker as well. 
So in here we have two and a half grams of olivum 1000, and it's gotta be 1000 for this, you can't use olivum 300, and nine grams of argan oil. Once you've got your two phases, we're going to heat everything in a water bath. So this here is a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm gonna pop my beakers in here and go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour until everything is melted through, heated up and dissolved. Once we're done heating everything through, you can take your water bath off the stove and we're gonna take our components out. You can see I've got another beaker here. This is just water and we're gonna use this to adjust our water phase if need be. So we're gonna give this a quick weigh here. So we're back to where we started. And then we're gonna add this to our oils phase. I find the hyaluronic acid in the heated phase definitely makes it a little thicker, so you gotta make sure you scrape it all out there. And now we're going to start blending. Since this is such a small batch, we're gonna use my little hand mixer here and take care to stay away from the bottoms and the sides. Okay, I'm gonna leave that to cool for about 10 minutes before coming back and blending it some more. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. This is still pretty hot. Thickening up on top, but has started separating a bit towards the bottom there, so definitely needs some more blending here. This is looking very decadent indeed. I'll let it continue to cool and come back and see how it's doing. Okay, so it's been about eight minutes. This is such a small batch that it's cooling down a lot faster than um, my usual batch, which is twice this size. So I'm gonna give this one more blending and then leave it to finish cooling down before we add our cool down ingredients. All right, well, this is looking lovely and is very nearly at room temperature, but I'm afraid I have <laughs> a yoga class to run out the door to right now. So I'm going to leave that to get completely to room temperature and also me to get all stretchy stretchy. And then when I come back, we'll add our cool down ingredients and pop it in our container. So one yoga class later and we have a gorgeous creamy room temperature lotion and we can add our cool down ingredients. So for that, I've got a smaller, more accurate scale. So we need 0 0.06 grams of vitamin E, 0 0.13 grams lemon essential oil, 0 0.13 grams cardamom essential oil, half a gram of calendula extract, and 0 0.25 grams liquid germal plus. Once you've got everything in there, you can give it a stir to combine. And now we're ready to pop this in our container. So for our container, we're going to be using this frosted 50 milliliter glass bottle from New Directions Aromatics with a pump top. And this is a sort of more delicate pump top. So first thing we need to do is trim this to length. So it's about there. When I say more delicate, I mean it dispenses a smaller amount of product than your average hand, hand lotion type pump would. Pop that in there. All right, seems to be a good fit. And so to fill it, we're going to use a syringe. So I find a lot of the times when I use a funnel to fill, uh, fill lotion containers, people sort of say, oh, you should use a piping bag instead. And they're totally right. Piping bags work really, really well, but I hate how you only get to use this piece of plastic for a minute or so, and then you pretty much have to, to chuck it out. That just seems so wasteful. So if you, uh, don't want to faff around with a funnel, but you want something uh, more in line with the ease of a piping bag, a large syringe is actually quite a good choice because they come apart really well, send them through your dishwasher, they come clean, and uh, yeah, they're not, not garbage, basically.
And I'm going to stop there so we have room for our lid and our pump here. Screw that on. And then to decorate this, since it's you know fairly plain looking, I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape. So this is some sort of pretty pink washi tape in keeping with our rose theme. So I'm just kind of cut a little section of that there. And rather nice and easy little touch. And something else I love about the syringes is that you can see how much product you le have left in here so that, uh, you know, if you don't totally fill your first container, you can go find a second container that's the right size. And there you go. You just made a beautiful lemon rose facial lotion with hyaluronic acid and hydrolyzed silk. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and do remember to go down to the description box below and click through to the blog post that accompanies this video where you'll find a ton more information on this recipe, the ingredients I've used, information on scaling, substitutions, where to buy stuff, all kinds of useful things. So thanks so much and I'll see you next time.